Hey family, it's Tasha, Mama Bear Prepping. Welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. You already know what time it is. Get your drink, pull up, let's talk about it. Today, we're gonna talk about some fun stuff, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through seven TV shows that I'm currently watching now or watched very recently, okay? And I think that it's really fun watching preparedness type shows, survival type shows, um, you know, shows that have to deal with the end of the world, right? Doomsday type shows. Um, because to me, there's so much to be learned. I literally learn something from everything. Even that show a long time ago, Doomsday Prepper, I learned so much from that show, you guys, and took so many notes every single time a new episode came out because there's stuff to learn or there's things that you see or you see somebody doing something and you're like, oh, okay, I like that. And you write a note and you write it down and it's something new that you can add to your preps. Or it's like life skills of what not to do. Basically, something has happened and it's like, don't do that. That was, that was a dumb decision, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through these shows. Um, what I'll do when I post it, you guys, in the description box, I'll list the shows and then I'll put next to it what network they're, they're on, like what app or network that I watch them on, okay? So first one I have is Invasion. So Invasion is a show um, that is obviously we are being invaded by aliens. Um, so it's kind of, you know, creepy, scary. You don't really know what's going on in the beginning. There's a lot of different storylines. But from Jump, this is a typical show or movie that has to do with preparedness where the number one lesson um, is apparent in this show from Jump. And that number one lesson, you guys, to be learned from all of these shows is that it's appalling the number of people who do not have a clue what they're gonna do, what to do next, right? They're, they're panic and they're like, they don't even know what to do, right? They're all standing around, something major is happening and they're looking at each other to get answers from each other and should we go, should we stay? What are we doing? What's happening, right? All of this stuff's going on. And it's not that, you know, we're, I'm human, right? <laughs> Preppers are human, okay? Even people who prepare, are human and would possibly be thinking in that moment, what are we gonna do? Like what's going on, trying to assess what's happening. But there's a lot of times that that thought process is gonna happen a lot quicker for somebody who prepares because you've already got a specific plan. So for you, you're just trying to put the pieces together to figure out what's going on enough to be able to know which plan you're going to execute, right? Instead of you have no clue what's going on, you have no idea if you should leave, go, what, you're looking at, to follow other people and it's just a mess. And so the, there's a lot of people that would not really know what to do, okay? And would just be off the cuff trying to figure it out, which is dangerous, okay? So Invasion, super uh, good. A little annoying with the characters, with the with the mom, right? Um, you know, I don't blame her necessarily, but just a little bit of her storyline is kind of annoying. And some of her decision making she makes at the beginning is kind of annoying to me. Um, but I'm still watching it. Good show. Okay. I'm current. Yeah, we're currently watching that. That comes out every week. Okay, so Invasion. New show. Second one I've watched recently and I haven't picked back up. I think we watched the first season so far is C. So S-E-E, C. And basically, it's like the end of the world, something major happens, nuclear war, whatever, you know, fast forward to the future. We're literally taken back to Stone Age times and everybody is blind. OK, so for whatever happened, all those wars, everything you fast forward, not only are we it's Stone Age, you know, we're living the people are living up in the mountains and different locations around the world and their little mags or little communities but everybody's blind and it's crazy you guys to see the amount of stuff these people are doing blind now granted there's people that are blind now you guys and they do all types of stuff every single day but i'm talking about full-on battles full-on could you imagine trying to fortify your home and protect your area and home and you're blind and the people attacking you are blind like it's insane okay to wrap your head around you know how you how you would do that but they evolved to that right and so it's just a great show it has my baby daddy in it okay 
So check it out. You'll know as soon as you watch it who my baby daddy is. So I'm not even going to mess it up for you. But um, S-E-E-C. Amazing. Okay. I've watched the first season and I think the second season's out. And we just haven't got there yet because I'm watching a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, next thing that I watched recently was a show called Raised by Wolves. Now this show I don't think is that um, new. Right. Um but new to me and basically i like it because it has to do with ai um and so it's kind of, it's cool right it has to do with the whole typical it has some religion stuff in there it has ai stuff in there it's the future it has to do with you know people fighting it's just a great show right um it's a little slower right so it's not so super high packed but there's a lot of good stuff in it that you're just like what this is crazy um but if you're watching it with like the sense of ai and what that could look like it's kind of creepy right all right next thing i'm watching this one's okay you guys but i just thought the storyline was just what got me which is super crazy and i'm not even I'm not even through the first season yet, right? Because I keep going away from it and coming back to it. But it's um, Why the Last Man on Earth, I think is what it's called. And basically something happens and all of the men drop, drop dead, right? Every single man on the planet drops dead. And... Um, and it's that whole chaos. They all drop dead. Then all the women are there. Who's in charge? Who's the president? Who's the government? Who's not? What's happening to all the people? Just the, that whole dynamic is happening. And it's and it's creepy. Um, but the pretense of, of what's really going on is why is the name of um, the female president now her son. And he lives and so it's this storyline built around, you know, it's the end of the world, all the men die, but this one guy, right? And then obviously, you know, what do they do? They're trying to keep it a secret, all this, this craziness, okay? So I just thought it was a cool kind of storyline that like, wow, that, could you imagine like one sex just all, all just die on the whole planet? So just a wild storyline still watching it trying still trying to figure it out but if you're looking for a new show it's something different okay uh number five now i've been really getting into this one okay it has william shatner in it he hosts it and it's called the unexplained and they go through different things that are unexplained and they have different titles every show is like a different topic if you will right and some of them were kind of weak, but some of them are very controversial, very like what happened, very get your mind thinking, very um, can you trust the government? Can you trust things that have happened in our country? What happened with this? What happened with that? It really, really gets your mind thinking um, about all types of topics, okay? All types of topics. And so it's it's really good I, i'm really enjoying watching it there's a couple that are you know you get to it and you're like okay this is kind of lame like um one the other day was on cults and i was like okay you know they were talking about the unexplained and how cults work and how do people follow okay that it was all right but the other ones are the ones that really get me thinking like there's one about aliens obviously there's one about um technology whether making technology you guys so it's like really really good some of the topics that they talk about that you're like what like or you're like oh okay so if you haven't checked out you know the unexplained check it out that's like a really really interesting show right behind that one you guys number six is another interesting show that i've actually talked about in other videos a few a couple times and it's a show called While the Rest of Us Die. And again, I'll put in the description box, you guys, where all these can be found. But it's basically what it sounds like. It talks about the elites and if certain things happen and how there is a, you know, there is a, if major things were going to happen, you know, would the government tell us? Would the world tell their people, hey, you're about, we're about to be hit by a, you know, a, a world ending event like would they tell us about that right and what would you do and um 
And basically, if something happened that was major, they would all leave and go underground and nobody's coming to save you, baby. You're on your own, right? If major stuff starts breaking out, elites are going to go underground and we're only going to have, you know, each other. You're only going to have what you've done for yourself and what you can continue to do for yourself. And so the show is called While the Rest of Us Die. And it's, again, it has shows. So every show kind of has a theme or a topic that it talks about. It's very, very good. It reminds me about um, some of the unexplained shows, right? They kind of talk about that same kind of realm of secrets and things like that. Okay, and the last one I have is an oldie but goodie, and that's The Walking Dead. Lots to be learned. Obviously, it's a show about zombies, you guys, but it's still a show about preparedness, survival. There's all types of stuff to be learned in that show. Um, it's on its last season, which is going to be broken up in three sections and only the first section is done. So there's still like two, um, t I think 10 more episodes in each one. So there's still like 20 more episodes before that show will be closed out. So if you've been watching The Walking Dead, it's not done yet. This February, that second piece will start. And um, I've learned so much over the years from that show. Okay. Some some stuff to take away, you know, that's the seven. Some stuff to take away if you're still watching is, you know, take notes. If you see somebody doing something cool, write it down, right? Write down that supplies if you see somebody using something. Take notes about and use um, the stuff that you're like, that is, that is dumb. I can't believe they did that, right? That poor decision making. Use that and use that as teachable moments for your family members, right? Use those moments in the shows as teachable moments for your kids. Like, okay, see how they did that? That is a completely wrong. That is not how we would do it, whatever. Talk your family through the whole scenario of, you know, what would you do if, if this was you? What would you do? We've literally talked about like, man, aliens attack like this? What would we do, right? And we literally try to talk through because there's certain things you're like, okay, I prepare, but we don't prep for aliens, okay? Like, <laughs> That's, you know, we don't prep for aliens chasing us through the house, breaking through stuff, right? So how do you fortify? How do you protect yourself, right? And so we talk through literally like, well, what would we do? What would we do if this was real and we really were trying to hide and get away from aliens, fast aliens trying to attack us, okay? So this video is meant to just have fun, relax. It's the holidays watch you some shows, decompress. I know a lot of people, I have chronic anxiety. I know a lot of people watching me have anxiety, are feeling overwhelmed, feeling uneasy. Keep the course, keep doing what you're doing, but take a break, take some time off, watch a show, and just relax with you, your family, whatever it is that you mentally need right now, okay? And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Take care, bye.